so here it is, the amazing, fantastic, wonderful Playboy that I am putting together for Mr. Yazda. Um, so, I used a bit of foam board to make it a little bit of a stand, put some hot glue on it to keep it in position and just did a little bit of work kind of getting it into a better shape. I'm fairly happy with where this is now. Um, I'm fairly happy with that. It'll be interesting enough as a bit of a set piece for Mr. Yazdan to keep it in his room, either here or where he goes to next. Um, and I'm thinking about putting a little plaque on the front, something like that, but um, we'll look into it after. So the next stage for me now is because what I want to do, because as you might be able to notice, there are quite a few little bends and curves throughout here. So I'm going to use something called Mod Rock. Mod Rock is like plastic, it's like this. Um, you might recognise it if you've ever broken an arm or like had anything for a cast. Um, so it's a similar material they use, I think. So essentially what you do is you take that, you dip it into water and you can use it to mould a, like a, a bit of plastering around something. So my step now that I want to go through is I want to go around and put a thin layer around all of this which will hopefully smoothen out some of the lumps and lumps. So let's get to it. Um, this stuff is incredibly messy. The cleaners absolutely hate it because it copes the tables and then you wash it away and the powder comes back afterwards. So, in we working with this stuff. Um, but it's not dangerous or anything. So, here we go. Let's see how it turns out. Smaller pieces than normally I would work with. I've not done too much sculpture or plastering work in the past. Um, but this is kind of perfect for our purposes today. Stuff so annoying. I am. Um, I'm not a sculptor at heart graphics and photography and modern day techniques are more my forte. Sculpture work, particularly when I was in school, I didn't spend a whole lot of time doing this and now the gaps in my knowledge, the gaps in my skill, make it just how evident Yeah, that's not too bad, that's, sort of, that's probably around about the thickness I wanted to and hopefully uh, with a little bit of colour over the top of it, it should flesh out a little bit of that space, okay. Making, do, you know, do you know Mr. Yazda? You know Mr. It is. It's uh, you know one of those wire buzzers. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, because Mr. McMood obviously has his YouTube channel. Yeah. So You're I'm building. Doing this for him. Mm, I'm building him a little YouTube button and just documenting it as well as I'm going. So I'm just putting like a bit of plaster on it because my wire works a bit messy, and then I can make it hook it up. So I think my aspirations of making this look a little bit neater are kind of vanishing out the window as we go. Because there are particularly fat sections and thin sections. But I'm going to keep going. I think what I might need to do is work in a little bit of a section and then give it some time to dry because you might have noticed as I'm threading this all together that um, Essentially the pieces kind of like join, it, it, it sticks to itself, um, 
So as I'm going around, like it's sticking to the pieces on either side of it. So if there's like a piece next to it, like this piece here that I'm drilling in, um, as it dries, it will stick to that. As also it's like wrapping it round and round so it sticks to itself. Um, one of the issues with this is if you have like a point which isn't wrapped appropriately and is like a weaker section. Um, so say for example, if this section here wasn't quite as tight as the rest of them. What it would cause is um, this bit to start to break off here. So. Uh, so this bit would start to break off and then it would then become like a structural weakness for the other bits as well. So this is why sometimes people do multiple layers when they're, well, this is me talking about sculpture as if I knew sculpture. Um, this is why from what I've seen people tend to do multiple layers of plaster or mud rock when they're working out. Well that bit's gone. <sighs> yes Dan, I hope you like this because I absolutely hate this stuff. You do not forever have it on show, on like a mantelpiece, or in a classroom. In 20 years time, they will be furious. This does the trick, then I have cut just the right amount of my work. Awesome. Alright, so let's go sides. Any metal bits coming through? No, let's move this out a little bit. A bit of water on our fingers just to get across it all. Make sure it's all stuck properly together. Awesome, and actually parts of these are already starting to dry, which is good. Um, and there's no big flappy bits coming off, which is also awesome. 